What's going on YouTube? It's EJ4V back with another video. As you guys see from the title and thumbnail, this video is going to be how to find the perfect dead zone in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to find the best dead zone for your specific controller. Dead zone is one of the most important controller settings. A bad dead zone can hold you back skill wise and not let you perform at your best. The reason dead zone is so important is the lower the dead zone, the more responsive your analog sticks are, the higher the dead zone, the more delayed your analog sticks are. Unless you have a brand new controller, most people aren't going to be able to use 5-5 dead zone. But the lower the dead zone you can use without getting stick drift, the better. First, you want to go to a creative island by yourself. Then go to your settings, the controller binds page, then put your dead zone on 5-5. Five five. Christmas just passed, so if you got a brand new controller for Christmas, you should be able to use a very low dead zone like 5-5 five five or 6-6. Six six. But now that we are on 5-5 dead zone, move around and if you get stick drift, go up to 6-6 dead zone. So I'm about to look around, turning right, left, as you see, I'm continuously turning left and I'm not even touching my controller right now. So that means I have stick drift. So I'm gonna go to my settings, dead zone, and I'm gonna try 6-6 dead zone now. And now I'm on 6-6 dead zone, so let's see if I get any stick drift. As you see, my character is running by himself now. So now I gotta change my dead zone to 7-7. Seven, seven. Now I'm on 7-7 seven, seven dead zone, let's see if I get any stick drift. As you see, my screen is moving by itself once again. So now I have to go up to 8-8 eight, eight dead zone. Now I'm on 8-8 eight, eight dead zone to see if I get any stick drift. So for my specific controller, 8-8 eight, eight is the lowest dead zone I can use without getting stick drift. So 8-8 eight, eight is a good low dead zone that I can use without getting stick drift. If I crank 90s, my analog sticks are very responsive. But if I put a high dead zone like 50-50, If I crank 90s with a high dead zone like 50-50, my analog sticks are going to be very delayed and you're going to see it in my building. Yeah, I can still do 90s, but it's so delayed. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Like, try it for yourself. Put a 50 dead zone and if you're used to using a low dead zone like me, it takes so long for your stick to register that you're actually moving it. Okay, look, I'm going to try to do it. See, it's just, I'm so choppy. Low dead zone is the way. Do not use a high dead zone. There's a reason no pros or anyone good at the game uses a high dead zone. You can check every settings YouTube video there is. A low dead zone is how you get those smooth and fast edits and builds. In conclusion, you're just putting your dead zone on 5-5, then checking if you get stick drift. And if you do, keep putting your dead zone up 1 until you don't get stick drift anymore. That's it for me, that's the video, that's how to find the perfect dead zone in Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, make sure to leave a like on the video, comment if you have any questions, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a future upload. Thanks for watching, peace.